हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्टडी टू विन एजुकेशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर सीरीज वी सी द सिलेबस इट्स कॉन्सेप्ट एंड बेस्ड ऑन एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस फॉर ए रिक्रूटमेंट सब इंजीनियर रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस फॉर म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ ग्रेटर मुंबई दिस इज द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन प्लेनिंग एंड शेपिंग मशीन्स एंड ए फॉलोड बाय 20 मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन इट let's start with the lecture we have two machines for study two processes two manufacturing processes for study one is the shaping process another is the planing process both processes are very much similar and here in this slide i am showing the two uh, pictures which shows a shaping and planing machines one in this diagram is known as a planing machine and one in this diagram is known as a shaping machine in both the machines we manufacture the flat surface or a plane surface using to and fro motions that means a reciprocating motions in the planing machine there is a parts like this is a table this is a tool position tool holding position and then the rest of the frame and so on are there in this shaping this is the table and this is the ram and here is the tool holding position this is the uh, some parts of this planing and shaping machine now the basic difference between the planing process and shaping process is in planing process work piece is fitted on the table and table reciprocates to and fro in shaping machine again the work piece is held on the table but table is a stationary but this ram which is holding the tool is reciprocating so this is the basic difference between the planing and shaping i'll repeat in planing the work piece is held and reciprocates and tool is stationary in shaping work piece is held and stationary but tool is reciprocating and the cutting action uh, occurs because of this reciprocating motion in both the machines now followed by this slide we have this diagram which is uh, again the same which we have seen in a picture this is the base this is the crank mechanism for reciprocating action of this ram and ram holds the tool this tool is called as a single point cutting tool and then there is a work piece which is fitted on the table this is particular diagram is of shaping machine this is the clapper box which is for uh, tool movement up and down during the forward and return stroke we'll see it uh, step by step the first point is cut the material by to and fro motion that we have seen both the shaping and planing machines has a to and fro action that is reciprocating action both the planing and shaping machine use single point cutting tools for cutting action we have some mechanisms installed in the machine for making that reciprocating action done generally this particular mechanisms can be of uh, three types one is the crank and slotted lever mechanism second is a with worth quick return motion mechanism and third is a hydraulic mechanism any mechanism can be used for any machine for that matter of reciprocating action but generally speaking shaper will have a crank and slotted lever mechanism planer will have with word quick return motion mechanism and a slotting machine is nothing but a vertical shaper machine where the tool holding the ram or sorry ram holding the tool will reciprocate in vertical action so that is that machine is called as slotting machine it you can call it as a vertical shaper machine as well in that machine also we can expect a crank and slotted lever mechanism this is called as a clapper box clapper box we have already talked here is the position of clapper box what happens when the tool moves forward there is a, a cutting stroke happens that means the tool cut the material on the work piece but while return stroke Uh, the tool is not supposed to rub on the work piece that will deteriorate the surface finish of the work piece and so on that is the reason we have to lift this tool during the return stroke of the ram and for that purpose clapper box is a fitted clapper box lift the tool when it completes the forward stroke that is called as cutting stroke when the ram completes the cutting stroke the tool gets lifted by some amount some uh, distance and because of the clapper box and then the ram returns Uh, back without rubbing the tool on the work piece and then next uh, cut will be performed this is the function of clapper box ratchet and pole mechanism is used to feed the uh, table in case of planer 
that means we have a, a cutting strokes and when one cutting stroke is completed then we have to feed the workpiece to the tool because tool is a stationary and that particular feeding of the workpiece to the tool is done by the ratchet and pole mechanism uh, now size of a shaper size of a shaper is decided or the designated using the stroke length of the shaper and size of the planer is generally decided based on the size of workpiece that particular planer accommodates on the table maximum workpiece size a planer accommodates on the table that size is called as a size of a planer machine as i already told there are two strokes in the shaper and planer machines one is the forward stroke and second is the return stroke because of this to and fro motion the cutting action happens forward stroke is also called as a cutting cutting stroke and return stroke is also called as idle stroke because during the forward motion the cutting actually happens and during the return stroke the tool does not cut the material it simply returns back to its original position for the next cut and that is the reason it is called as a idle cut for saving the cutting time or reducing the production time what we do is we slow down the machine or the uh, speed of the ram during forward stroke during the cutting stroke and then we increase the speed of a ram during the return stroke and this is the reason we have a uh, mechanisms installed in the ram uh, because during forward stroke we want a slow speed and during the return stroke we want a high speed of the ram and that can be achieved using a inversions of single slider crank mechanisms that means crank slotted lever mechanism and with word quick return mechanism these are the inversions of a single slider mechanism which will do this job done and a machining time will be saved during this to and fro uh, motion of the ram or the table maximum velocity of the ram occurs at the middle of the return stroke when the uh, ram is returning to the original position maximum velocity is occurs at the middle of the return stroke and minimum velocity of the ram occurs at the beginning of the forward stroke or cutting stroke i repeat this can be a very important point from this lecture that maximum velocity of ram can be experienced or observed at the middle of return stroke and minimum velocity of ram can be observed at the beginning of the forward stroke shaping machines are generally used for the light duty works small work pieces and planing machine is generally used for heavy duty works and larger work pieces in shaping machine generally we have a single tool and which cut the material from the work piece by reciprocating action we cannot fit a number of tools on the same ram because of dynamically imbalance that's why we have to fix more than one rams instead of this we can have a planing machine installed in which we can fix the number of tools because in planing machine we remember the tool is a stationary and work reciprocates so for mass production or for heavy cuts planing machine is suitable than the shaping machine because shaping machine has a only one tool generally planing machines can have more than one tool and so the production time will be less and uh, those machines are preferred there uh, i already told vertical shaping machine is also called as a slotting machine and then we can move towards the next point that means the comparison this points most of the points we must have already seen but we'll just revise it planing and shaping in planer machine the tool is a stationary and workpiece travels back and forth under the tool in shaper machine the tool reciprocates and workpiece is stationary planing is used for uh, here it should be larger the planing is used for larger jobs and the shaping is used for small and light duty jobs planing is used for uh, heavy duty work the shaping is used for light duty work here is the mistake actually shaping is used for light duty work planing is used for heavy duty work planing is used for high cut and uh, coarse machining shaping is used for heavy cut sorry light cut and fine machining planing uses several cutting tools at a time shaping uses single cutting tool at a time planing machines are suitable for mass production because we can fit more than one cutting tool a shaping machine is not suitable for mass production because its uh, manufacturing time is more because of having a limitation of only one cutting tool in a machine then uh, subsequently we will see the uh, objectives of based on the planing and shaping process and the planing and shaping machines 
first question we have is internal gears can be manufactured by hobbing shaping with pinion pinion shaping with rack cutter and turning the correct option is shaping with pinion cutter next question the keyway comma slots and grooves can be cut on the shaper yes obviously it can be cut on shaper question number 3 in a shaper the length of stroke is increased by increasing the center distance of bull gear and crank pin decreasing the center distance of bull gear and crank pin increasing the length of arm and decreasing the length of slot in the slotted lever mechanisms the correct answer is question answer number a increasing the center distance between bull gear and crank pin actually we have seen one diagram here where we have seen the shaper mechanism here there will be a bull gear and a uh, bull gear has some center along with it rotates and this crank pin is fitted on the bull gear at offset like this as this bull gear rotates this pin rotates like this and the ram reciprocates if the distance between this crank pin and bull gear center increases the stroke length will increase that is why the option number a is correct for question number 3 next question number 4 the size of shaper is given by already seen it is given by stroke length question number 5 gears can be best produced on mass production using shaping casting forming hobbing hobbing is the answer in a shaper the metal is removed during forward stroke return stroke we already seen it is forward stroke gears can be cut on a shaper yes they can be cut on shaper in a planer tool is a stationary work reciprocates wrong work stationary and reciprocates wrong tool moves over stationary work wrong tool moves over reciprocating work sorry question no answer number uh, option number 3 is correct tool sorry in planer uh, yeah in planer answer number 1 tool is a stationary and work piece reciprocates the operation performed on a shaper is machining horizontal surface machining vertical surface angular surface all of this all of this can be performed on a shaper machine even a convex concave surfaces can also be machined on a shaper in a shaper tool is a stationary and work reciprocates work is a stationary and reciprocates uh, in shaper tool moves and work is a stationary answer number 3 question number 11 the top and sides of the table of a shaper are usually having the slots of l t i type any of this it will be having a t type there will be a vertical slots on the tables of a shaper and planer as well in which we can use the t bolts to fit the work piece on a table fastening the work piece on a table using the t bolt in the shaper and planer question number 12 the size of a planer is given by stroke length motor power mass of a machine size of work piece to be machined on a planer is option number t 13 feeding of a job in the case of shaping machine is done at the middle of cutting stroke end of the cutting stroke end of return stroke and beginning of the cutting stroke answer is option c end of return stroke which of the following is advantage of shaping process short setup time ease of operation inexpensive tooling all of these all of these actually planing is opposite of shaping planing requires large setup time it is difficult to operation and planing is inexpensive expensive compared to shaper question number 15 setting time in case of planer as compared to that of shaper is in the order of 4 to 6 times 3 times 10 times 1/4 generally obviously not 1/4 because plane setting time for planing is higher than the shaping answer is 3 times question number 16 in case of shaper the depth of cut is cut should not be less than 0.1 0.4 0.002 and 0.25 it should not be less than 0.25 mm goose neck tool are preferred on shaper comma planer and slotting machine because large clearance angle is provided back rake is black back rake is less friction between the flank and machine surface is less digging in and scoring of the work piece is reduced option number d is the correct answer cylindrical part are held on a planer with the help of c clamp angle plate t bolt 
tow dogs and stop is the correct answer with the help of it we fix the cylindrical parts on a planer last second last question avoid using compressed air to clean chips from the milling machine because cleaning the chips from any machine actually is avoided using the compressed air the reason is flying chips may cause the eye injuries so generally chips are removed by cleaning with the brush last question what is the qrr of shaping machine qrr nothing but quick return ratio of a shaping machine it is nothing but the time uh, required for forward stroke divided by time required for return stroke so this is called as a quick return ratio so obviously time required for forward stroke is more because the speed is less cutting is actually happening in the forward stroke and during the return stroke time required is less speed is more because that is ideal stroke so the uh, option number 3 cannot be option number d also cannot be it can be a or b the correct answer is b 3s to 2 uh, this is the end of this lecture thanks for watching this video if you like the lecture hit the like button share this with your friends and uh, subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos thanks for watching this video have a great day thank you